My name's Ian Smith and I'm going to quickly take you through the differences between the 12.5 Eco and the 12.5 Racing. Uh, a lot of people at this time are obviously stuck at home, uh, riding in the back garden when possible and uh, the 12.5 is obviously our, our uh, introductory bike, the bike for the youngest kids. Uh, the age range is uh, two to four or five years old on this bike, depending on how they're growing. And uh, what we're finding across the world really is that the 12.5 racing is the one that's, that's chosen uh, by a lot more buyers. The 12.5 Eco is a slightly lower spec version of the 12.5 racing. They share most of the same components, but there are a few differences. Um, this bike is a lot cheaper and uh, uh, for the customer it's obviously weighing up which one is is better for the job um, but um, you know this this one uh, will definitely do the job uh, particularly in the in the back garden this one is for kids who are getting more into Aussie cups and this type of thing going through some of the similarities first um, both of these bikes share the same motor uh, it's a 600 watt 24 volt motor uh, that we've been using for a long time, very reliable. Both bikes share the same motor. Both bikes share the same controller. Um, so the performance is exactly the same. Uh, underneath the rubber bung here, uh, there are two dials uh, and they're exactly the same on, on both bikes. One uh, covers the speed and that's the one that's protected. You need to use a screwdriver to get in there and adjust the speed. So that's a parental uh, protection there. And the other one is, is response. So as it comes from the, the factory, both of these settings are set to, to very low. Uh, and then uh, as, uh, as the, the child becomes uh, more proficient, both can be turned up by the, the parent. So both bikes, exactly the same. Uh, the back tire is the mini gripper, we call it. Uh, same on both bikes. The front tire is, uh, is also the same on both bikes. It looks slightly different because uh, on the 12.5 Racing, we've got slightly wider rims. Uh, the hubs are designed for disc brakes. Both bikes have the chain protector, the full coverage chain protector. Both bikes have the same foot pegs, different colors, obviously. Uh, both bikes are operated by the same key switch. Both bikes are operated by the same lanyard and both bikes have the same throttle exactly the same throttle so exactly the same drive system all the way through as you can see this one's set to absolute minimum from the factory on both bikes the levers are adjustable for reach and on both bikes they come with a, uh, a stem protector also the same as the the bodywork also the same as the kickstand so uh, the majority of the components are, are the same. The differences between the two bikes are, uh, as we've already mentioned, the rims are slightly different. Uh, they're slightly wider and obviously the hubs are different on the 12.5 racing to accommodate the, the discs. So that is the biggest difference of all, is the brakes. On the 12.5 racing, it's disc brakes, front and rear. Uh, the, on the front is a 160 millimeter disc, on the rear is a 140 millimeter disc. They are mechanical disc brakes, uh, so it's a wire uh, pulling through, not hydraulic. On the 12.5 Eco, the, the brakes are different. Um, on the front, you have a, a V brake, as they're called, very popular with, uh, with bicycles, of course. Um, discs are always seen as a, a higher spec. In truth, a well set up V-brake works really well. Uh, think of the rim as, as a disc, it's bigger than the disc. So a well set up V-brake is, is uh, actually very effective. On the 12.5 Eco, it's what's called a band brake. Uh, it's effectively like a drum style brake. It's actually quite a nice light pull on it and it is quite effective. Not as effective as a disc brake, but nonetheless an effective brake. The rear shocks are exactly the same on each of these bikes. One thing to point out on these is that if you have a child who's 
very young, very small, just getting started, uh, coming from a push bike. What you can do is wind the rear shock spring all the way back, actually lowers the rear end a little bit. You can uh, take the, the foot pegs completely out. That gives the child basically a push along bike, but with a throttle instead. The other significant difference outside of the brakes is the front forks. Uh, the front fork on the 12.5 Racing is uh, specifically designed to take a disc brake. The front fork on the Eco is specifically designed to take a V-brake. So they are different. Uh, functionally, not a whole lot of difference. Um, both are very limited travel um, and uh, both offer about the same sort of performance. One other minor difference is the handlebars themselves. You can see actually the 12.5 Racing is a lower rise handlebar. It's got the Osset logo on there um, and it's alloy. On the 12.5 Eco it's a steel handlebar, so slightly heavier. Uh, again, functionally not a lot of difference, um, but it is alloy versus steel. So in conclusion, the difference between the two bikes is relatively minor. Some of the functional things, the brakes and the front forks are, are the major differences between the two bikes. Um, so in the end, it's uh, possibly about the decision being about the, the function of the bike, which is, which is very close between the two, and also the economics. This, this one is considerably cheaper than this one. Um, so in the end, the decision is yours.